Hello. It's been a while. So, today we are going to be unboxing nothing. Yes, I know this was a subscription box channel, but it turns out that subscription boxes are expensive. Yeah, they're a little expensive, so um, that's not happening anymore. 2020 hit pretty hard. 2020 hit my subscription box game hard. It hit me pretty hard. It hit me like a freight train. So we've got a chronic illness. We've got less money. Just, you know, your average 2020 experience, guys. Your average 2020 life. And 2021, um, I'm hoping it's going to get better soon. I'm hoping. Please, please let it get better soon. Anyway, you might be wondering what I'm going to do now. And I'll tell you. I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic. I think we all are. Aren't we all just like missing those good old days? I know I am. So today, I want to talk to you about some of the weirdest dolls I had growing up. In particular, Barbie dolls. I had some strange and some of them slightly dangerous Barbies. So I'm going to count those down for you. Stick around if that sounds interesting. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment about the weirdest toy you had growing up. Let's go. Let's, let's go back to the past. Let's leave this year behind. Take a blast to the past. The first doll we're going to talk about is Midge. And I know that no one is like on fire to talk about Midge. She's definitely not the most exciting Barbie toy from our generation or my generation. But um, this wedding set was so extravagant. I remember it had like an archway type thing and it had decorations and Ken and Barbie were in the wedding and they had a bridesmaid's dress and a tux and Alan had his tux and it was a whole thing. It was very extravagant. And it's also the beginning of Midge being the one who settled down. She got married she had kids. She was pregnant at one point. Does anyone remember the pregnant Midge doll? I didn't have it, but I very definitely remember that there was one. So this is kind of the beginning of Midge being Barbie's less ambitious friend because Barbie never married Ken that I remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did Barbie marry Ken? I don't think she did. I think that she's just always been a career gal with her boy toy, kind of like Oprah. Barbie's a little bit like Oprah. Okay, so let's remember. Let's watch and remember. Oh, oh, baby, baby. Cool. I remember this. Oh my gosh. See the arch? Yep. And the kids? Yes, I remember this commercial. <laughs> oh snap, her dress converted. She was ahead of her time. That was some stylish. That was a stylish move when she had a convertible dress in the 80s. Pretty cool. Yeah, but that's one that I remember just because it just seemed so extravagant and special to me. Like, it was it was a big wish list toy. And I loved it. I loved Wedding Day Midge. Okay, for our next Barbie, something to note about me is for a very, very long time when I was young... I had hair down to my waist. It was so long I could sit on it. I finally got it cut. It was such a big relief. But I got the totally hair Barbie around the period of time when my hair was that length. And her hair was just as much trouble as my hair. It had got gum in it. I tangled it. Totally hair Barbie was a nightmare. So let's go back and, and look at this doll and really, like, think about the marketing. That's so strange. We're going to make a doll, but not just any doll. A doll with really, really, really long hair. And that's the whole selling point of this doll. It's the only thing that's special about it, and it's weird to me that it was pretty popular, and I remember really wanting it. But as an adult, I look back at it, and I'm like, yeah, that wasn't that special. She had a lot of hair. You've got 
the longest hair ever. Totally hot, totally cool. Let's send her feet. Totally yeah, I missed this all. Oh. oh, she's got Deb jail. I did my bangs like that. I used to have bangs like this, and I would curl part of them this way, and then curl part of them up, just like hers was. Just like that. Make it fun, make it now. Hair so long, it's totally fun. I couldn't braid either. Totally hair, totally hot, totally cool. My totally hair Barbie totally wasn't hair totally hot. Totally hair Barbie doll has blonde or brunette hair down. I forgot to give a depth down. Dolls each look separately. <laughs> So another doll that I have a very vivid memory of is the talking doll. I think it was like Mall Talk Barbie, Teen Talk Barbie, Teen Talk Barbie. That was the name. And um, she said a bunch of different phrases like, I love to shop. Friends are the best. But she said something that got her and Mattel in some hot water. She said, math is hard. Hmm. Math is hard. So, of course, everybody got upset and they were like, we cannot perpetuate the stereotype that girls are bad at math. No, Barbie. That's not right. But what my mom heard was, oh, they're not going to make that one anymore. So, I need to find out what Jill's Barbie says. I got it for my birthday. This is the second grade. I'll never forget it. I came home from school. And my mom was like, go get that Barbie doll. Go get it. Go get the Barbie doll you got for your birthday, the one that talks. And I'm like, okay. And I brought it to her, and she's like punching the button. And it's like, I love shopping. And it's not saying math is hard because I didn't get that version. And she's mad. And she's like, it's never going to be worth anything. Like, like the one that says math is hard is worth so much. Is it? If it is, let me know. Comment below. Is that worth anything? My mom saved all kinds of toys that she thought were going to be worth something someday. And I don't think any of them are worth anything. Anyway, let's take a look back at Teen Talk Barbie. Here she is. I love to shop, don't you? I can't believe my ears. I can't believe my eyes. Every Teen Talk Barbie is a different surprise. She's got that Blossom hat on. Do you remember that? Do you guys remember Blossom and those denim hats that folded up? I was obsessed with those. Mine says, Want to have a pizza party? <gasps> Mine says, You're my best friend. Uh, and now she says, Meet me at the mall. Cool. What's she going to say next? Listen. Do you have a crush on anyone? <laughs> you can't believe your ears are high. Teen Talk Barbie. What a surprise. Each Teen Talk Barbie doll says four different fun things. Barbie dolls each sold separately. Oh, they didn't put the math as hard in there, did they? Yeah, they left that out of they left that out of the commercial, huh? It was a scandal, y'all. Scandal. Okay. The next all I want to talk about is not particularly controversial or I don't know if it's that special. I thought it was really sp it's got a it's got a special place in my heart. Um, I think it's called the Dance and Twirl Barbie, and she was, like, on a platform, and she had a dress that covered it up, and you could remote control, and it was like she was ballroom dancing on this platform that was covered by her dress, and it just, like the, like the Midge wedding set, it just felt extravagant, it felt like a very special toy, it was like a Christmas toy, you know, and I loved it, and I was allowed to play with it in the kitchen, because our kitchen had a hard floor. And I, I just have such a good memory about that doll. Even though I can't drive a car at all. And it was a very early sign of me not being able to drive. Because I would like ram her into her dining room table all the time. Because I was so bad at using the remote control. So let's take a look back at Dance and Twirl Barbie. Okay, I'm already really excited about this one. This is going to bring back so many memories. I can already... Feel it, 1994, I was in the fourth grade, dance and twirl Barbie. Who's making those moves? She dances and twirl Barbie, she collides off the floor, she makes dance like Okay, my Barbie would have already hit like five things by now. I was not good at controlling her, but I loved her so much. I'll make her spin. She can't 
as she stands round in place, and her long flowing hair swings round her face. Here's the fact: she dances with Ken as they share their romance. Dances for Bobby, not to die. Oh yeah, you would put Ken on the platform with her, so it wasn't like Ken had his own platform. He would just like go on the platform with her, and they would twirl around together. Mostly, I thought Barbie solo, dance solo. I didn't put Ken on there a lot. With radio control, dance control, Barbie doll can dance by herself or with any Ken doll. Batteries and Ken not included. Isn't that the wildest thing? Oh my gosh, I miss that. Who else had that? Did anyone else have that doll? I love that doll. I'm still obsessed with that doll. I wonder if I still have it. Probably not. Okay, so now we're up to the one truly scandalous Barbie I owned. It was a scandal. It was the rollerblading Barbie. Does anyone remember that? Her rollerblades threw off sparks because they had the same mechanism as like a lighter, like a cigarette lighter, and they would shoot off sparks. And people had their house burned down. They had their homes destroyed because of this Barbie. It was cool looking, but she literally burned people's houses down with her rollerblade sparks. Um, My parents' reaction to the situation was super adult. They said, just don't use her on the carpet. Take her outside on the concrete or, or use her on the tile. We never had any fire. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, but they let me keep her and play with her, just not on the carpet. She was not allowed on the carpet. Oh my gosh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I didn't destroy our home with that Barbie. But anyway, let's take a look back at rollerblading Barbie. Okay, rollerblade Barbie, who is an actual menace to society. Let's take a look. Rollerblade Barbie! You skate, we both got clothes that look great. But rollerblade Barbie, only your skates quicker than flash. My friends, your friends, we all love the hottest trail. Cool rollerblade. Rollerblade Barbie, only we'll your skates your quicker than flash. Rollerblade Barbie, you got something to say. I can't believe that rollerblade Barbie comes with a pair of rollerblade skates that really flicker and flash. Dolls eat salt Oh no, I can't believe I survived that toy. Okay, so this next doll, I was convinced it was a Barbie, but it's not a Barbie. So this is kind of a bonus doll. Her name was Cool Cuts Kara. She looked like a Barbie. You could cut her hair. And she, she, ugh, her poor, poor Cool Cuts Kara. Like her, I, I'm not made to cut hair. If you can cut hair, oh my gosh. Thank you for being able to cut hair. Because I can't. Cool Cuts Care is proof of that. But she had, like, hair plugs. And I wish I could find a bald picture of this doll, but I can't find a picture of this doll without her hair. But they had these weird notches, and you just plug her new hair into her head. Oh, man. It was it was a bizarre toy. So, we're going to look at Cool Cuts Kara, and that is the last one for this video. Let's go take a look. Okay, here she is, Cool Cuts Kara. You're not going to cut her hair. Sure I am. She's Cool Cuts Kara. Cool Cuts Kara lets you cut her hair. Give her style. Give her flair. Beautiful. Mm. Let's add new hair and My start again. Extra hair. hair. So separately. Who oh, I want to cut her hair. There are so many styles you can create. Now she's ready for a date. So she got a scissors to comb it then. Cut Kara's hair again and again. Cool Cuts Kara comes with scissors, comb, smock and stand. Even extra hair. Hmm. Memories. Okay, so that was my trip down memory lane. I don't know if I'll ever do this style of video again or not. Leave me a comment about what toys you remember, about what puts you in a nostalgic mood, kind of takes your mind away from 2020, 2021, get you out of this frame of mind, back to the good old 90s, good old 80s. Where are you, Zennials? That's halfway between Gen X and a millennial, by the way, which is what I am. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye.